Hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot Friday, Friday the 4th of November 2022. Minnie is at large in the room. Hi Minnie, do you want to come and say hello? She's not like Valentine, she doesn't normally come and say hello. Hello sweetheart, but I'm hoping she will. Come here sweetie, do you want to say hello? Here we go. Ah, there's Minnie Cat. Do you want to say hello Twinkle? You can see she's not massively keen, is she? She's not massively keen. Hi, Minnie. It's raining outside, isn't it, sweetie? There you go. I'll let you go on the table. And then we could... By the time the camera goes down, you probably won't be there. Minnie, what's this? Hi. There's Minnie's tail, everybody. <laughs> she's not really a camera cat, like Valentine is. So, Valentine... Gorgeous. Valentine's asleep on the sofa, all relaxed, and I'm back. I'm back, bitch. That's what's happening. And uh, Minnie's kind of ousted a bit, so the tables have turned. And I was hoping Minnie might look like being on the camera, but she doesn't. Valentine always has. So we'll see. We are using today the Enchanted Tarot. Yes, Enchanted Tarot. I don't know who that's by actually. Anywho, Enchanted Tarot. Sometimes a little bit of TNA, we'll see how it goes. Mini now up to no good somewhere in the room. We'll see how that goes. Birdie watch, no birdies, wind and rain. So birdies are gonna be camped out somewhere in the trees, I expect. But if that changes, also hotel watch, empty yeah but someone has bought the old house down there that's been empty for ages so i will keep you posted because we could have another door paint situation on our hands yes i know it was too exciting last time a complete anti-climax of gunmetal gray i know this one used to be red so Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm just going to check. Oh, I don't want the Joker card. I'm just going to check the deck. No, we're getting loads of reversals, but the deck is definitely not all in reversals. So I'm going to take them because that's the truth of it. I'm really getting this vibe as well. And I know a lot of you who are commenting are saying this. It's like a very, feels retrograde-y. I think Mars is retrograde, isn't it? Oh, okay, cool. Oh, yeah, I feel that. Nice. Oh, gosh. Right. I don't know what these will look like on camera, so let's have a looky-see. Minnie. Minnie's standing on a box of tarot cards. Come on, sweetheart. Okay, overall energy card. Gorgeous. Temperance. Just covering up the modesty here. So temperance and temperance is a mermaid. Oh my God, love me a mermaid. So I would say, although this is normally associated with Sagittarius, I would say Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energies, that the energies are underground, but not really underground. I think they're underwater. And this makes sense if you think about we're in a Scorpio season and Scorpio is a very powerful I think it's ruled by Pluto, isn't it? Very powerful water sign. One second. Minnie! Come on! Oh, darling. Well, isn't that the ultimate cat threat? <laughs> So Minnie just got into a box of rather nice tarot cards and did that k -k -k. I'm going to back up and drop the kids off, as it were, right in this box. 
so I've just put her outside where there's a litter tray. Okay, so I would say we are underwater. And I would say that because we also have over here, and it's in the upright, so it's strong and it's major arcana too. We've got this moon card. Isn't that gorgeous? These cards are really beautiful. So when we have the moon card, of course it's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it's also a reminder that something is quite nebulous and that it's quite subject to tide and season and change and cycle. Now, I think we are in an underground, underwater cycle. I always say that Scorpio season is a, a well, uh, a bucket going down a really old well and going down to a place that hasn't been gone down to a lot. And this is what Scorpio does. It gets down into the watery places that nobody else wants to go. And that includes the sewage, it includes the sewer. Because Scorpio isn't afraid of it. That's the whole point. Scorpios are not afraid. Sex, death, rites of passage, you know, what my mum would call tooth and claw. This is all very Scorpio. The rest of us need a bit of persuading. And Scorpio season is the universe persuading us, <laughs> sometimes with force, that we are going to go there and we are going to take a look at x y and z but what we're looking at and what we're confronted with i think in these what we might call darker days is stuff that we can't necessarily measure or see but we sort of know it's there and we've got the ten of cups here in the reverse and we've got this gorgeous isn't that lovely i love that butterfly Ace of Swords here in the reverse. And the Ace of Swords represents um, cutting through, you know, the schwing and the whole kind of direct basis of knowledge that you would get from the air signs, Libra, air, Libra Aquarius, Gemini, of clarity. And I can pin this down, I can speak it, I can write it, I can say it. And we can't. That's the whole point. We're underwater. No one can hear you. It's not about that. It's much more nebulous. Then we have to go with it the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles, when it's in the upright, is all about starting a new venture. You know, doing something, <coughs> excuse me, doing something new, um, investing in something long term, saying yes, signing contracts, getting stuff done, starting things. And again, with the Ace of Swords, saying yes to things and knowing what they are and those things being clear. It's unclear and it's non-starters. That is the energy that we're in. The universe doesn't want us to point forward and get into things. It wants us to look back, look down and look deep and experience some of the chasms in our life, which we may not be terribly willing to do. Then we have the knave of chalices. Now I'm assuming that the knave is the knight. And I'm looking vaguely here because I did a minute ago have the white book. And what have I done with it? My ability to lose things is bordering on magical, honestly. I don't know what I did with it. Had it a minute ago, don't have it now. Hmm. Okay. See, there's no horses to give me a clue. <laughs> um, yeah, he's looking a bit pagey, actually. Let me just have a look what the other one is. I can't believe I can't find the thingamajig. Ah, found it. I don't think it has any pictures in, though. Here we go. Oh, my gosh, it's a foldy out one. People, it's a foldy out one. As the actress said to the bishop. Ooh, I never knew that. The governors of the water of life. Okay, knave of chalices. So this is the page of cups. The, or princess of the lotus flower, pleasant and a dreamer, loves poetry, music and song. So in the ride away, it's the youth that's knocking around with the smelly fish in a cup, going, oi, oi, 
You want my smelly fish in a cup? Why don't you want a date? So when we have the page of cups, tis per chance to dream, okay? We have a little bit, and we've had this in every reading recently, a little bit of hope and a little bit of the feels and a little old bit of love as well because it's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it's also like a little love offer, a little opener, you know, a little tiny chink. Um, I suppose in the water, it would be coming up to near the surface, you know, when you're in very deep water and it's very dark and then you come up slightly towards the light. So I would say in this rather confusing, I'm at the bottom of the well, I have to confront what's in that sewage pipe basically. Or even for some of you, the Shawshank Redemption that we're always talking about, you're crawling through that pipe at the moment and you know, on the belly like this, waiting to come out into the field. This is the little bit of light at the end of the tunnel, which is probably around the 23rd of November when we move into Sagittarius season. Cool, aren't you hanging out for Sagittarius season? The thing is though, you have to do the work to get there. I'm just looking for which oracle card I'm going to use. I'm going to use one of those again. So I am going to use Lisa McLaughlin, probably saying that wrong, wrong camera. Weave a different story. You'd be glad to know that somebody is angle grinding. And where would we be without that? In any weather, and it's peeing down, there is somebody angle grinding near the street. Didn't see much of the ice cream van. Don't know if it even came here once. Oh, nice. We get take a leap of faith with your ideals and we get the archer. Now the archer represents Sagittarius or Sagimacterius as we know them. And there is, we move into Sagittarius season on the 23rd and there's a new moon, woohoo, which we see on the moon card. There, new moon in Sagittarius on the 23rd as well. Sun enters on the 22nd, Jupiter goes direct, and we have new moon and Sag on the 23rd. There is light at the end of the tunnel, but the tunnel is a bit whiffy, okay? That's how we could, we could sum it up. Leave me a comment, let me know how it resonates, and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.